Hi, everyone. My name is Katie Naginski. I work with the International Women's Resource Center, and we have created a program called Mola Dietz. Uh, Mola Dietz is a free curriculum for English language learners. And today I'm gonna walk you through the website a little bit. So everything on Mola Dietz is designed to be very modular. Um, so you could use one piece of it, you could use half of it, you could use all of it, whatever works for you. It's also designed to be used in the classroom, either online or in person by teachers, or students could use it to self-study if they want to supplement their regular English classes. So this is just uh, the first page of the website. And at the top, we always have an announcement of when we will post new materials. And then we can click on for students. And it gives a little information about Maladietz and also the steps for the best way to study Maladietz. So, Pierre Vichag, take the diagnostic test. So, we designed a diagnostic test that teachers could use with students or students could use independently. And the diagnostic test has five questions that represent each of the units in Maladietz. So it's very easy for students to take the test and look at the results and they can see, okay, I finished present progressive, I finished present simple, I finished um, future with will. Oh, I got into irregular past tense and started to miss a lot of questions. And then I know I need to start in um, module two, unit three. So everything on the test perfectly matches the units and modules in the materials library and helps them know where to begin studying. Also, the test can be used as a post test. So the students can study for a while and then take the diagnostic test again and compare their scores. Um, we have some tools in the on the website, like a habit tracker and a module checklist. So if they wanna create a personalized learning plan and keep track of their goals, all of that is there. Um, and then every unit has six pieces. Um, well, really seven for if it's for the teachers. So the first piece is an introduction to the grammar. Second piece um, are exercises to practice the grammar. Next is a vocabulary list with exercises. The fourth is a reading and the text is always in about always about an American culture topic and then really, really fun, interesting topics. It's not the normal 4th of July, Thanksgiving, hamburgers, hot dogs. It's really getting deeper into American culture and history. Um, and then we have a podcast every week to go with every unit. The podcast is with me and a co-host who's a native Russian speaker. We talk about the reading and the American culture topic, but we go a little deeper because we have the Russian speaker there to really explain more of the nuance, more of the details of the cultural topic that we were exploring in the reading. And then we also have fun videos every week. And these are also to accompany the reading and the American culture topic of the week but they're really fun and silly, so you'll enjoy those. Everything can be downloaded as fillable PDFs, so you can print it and use it in class, or if you teach online, the PDFs have the fillable spaces, so you or the students can write in the answers and then save the document with the answers. It makes it really easy. Um, 
So this is everything that's included on the students page. If you have students that are studying independently or if they would like to study this as a supplement to your class. We also have the four teachers page. Um, this also walks you through all of the information. Um, additionally, every unit has a lesson plan for teachers. And the lesson plan is not written like, okay, you start at eight o'clock and you do this for 15 minutes and this is how you do the reading. It's more of uh, an expansion guide. So you have information in the lesson plan kit about how to best explain the grammar. And then you have five optional um, interactive activities that you can do to practice the grammar. And then five interactive activities to practice the vocabulary. And then expansion activities that would help you build on the reading if you wanna talk more about that American culture topic. So it's really like a menu of a lot of different things that you could bring into your classroom. You are all uh, experienced, uh, experienced, talented, fantastic teachers, I am sure. So you don't need a perfectly uh, scheduled lesson plan because everyone has a different schedule for their classes. Um, but it's great to have this support of uh, some language to use when you're explaining the grammar and the content and also some expansion activities that are really fun and interactive and you can use in person or online. Um, so all of this is here explaining all of the tools that we have for teachers. And then we have the tab with the material library. So at the top, you have the diagnostic test, the answers, the habit tracker, and the checklist. So these are just fun tools to aid productivity. And then here we have all the modules. On the modules, you can see you have the main grammar topic and the main vocabulary topic. And if you click on the module, you have a table of contents of each of the units within the module. So more specifically, what part of that grammar and what part of the vocabulary is discussed in each unit. And below you can download all of the materials. So for example, module one, unit one, you see you can click on the beautiful colorful circles and download the grammar introduction, practice exercises, vocabulary, reading podcast video, and the lesson tips for teachers. So everything is here. You just click and it will download, but I don't want to get off track. Okay. So again, you have this for every module and every unit. Um, lastly, you have a tab here to contact, of course, if you have any thoughts, suggestions, requests, feel free to send us an email. I will receive it and I'd be happy to hear your thoughts. Um, we are also on social media, so you can check out uh, VK, you can check out Telegram, you can check out TikTok, and you'll see... Um, all of the materials. So this is really great. We have the lesson tips for teachers on Sundays. We have the videos on Saturdays. Um, we have samples of all of the practice exercises so students could practice on their phone, on the train, or on their way to class, or waiting in line. Um, so it's really, really accessible for the students and for the teachers. I hope you'll check it out. And I'm really excited to hear from all of you. Uh, I would love to hear what you like about it, what could be improved, what you would like to see more of. Uh, we're really open to feedback. Um, and I think that's it. Enjoy your day. 
Спасибо. Вы молодцы. Я. Have a good one. Bye. Пока-пока.